This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Viva la resistance! Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with the finale of Mars Warlogs. In the last episode, we saved the resistance from a Technomancer raid, which would killed all the leaders, and then we found uh, evidence of a traitor in the Technomancer HQ by sneaking in and listening in and getting some information. Then we went back to Marco. He just would just double tapped him like right there. It almost didn't give him any, enough time or you know a chance to like really kind of figure out what we wanted to do. So. I wonder why he was so aggressive on I, I mean, the guy deserved it because, you know, betraying the group. But still, he went a little bit too far into it. Seems, and he was just trying to save his family. So it's like, eh, I wonder. But anyway, we can't worry, worry about that. So we got to go into this uh, political prisoner place here. They've been do, apparently doing experiments and killing prisoners and all this other stuff. So, all right, let's see what we can do. So, all right, let's uh, go on in. Hey, hey, please. Please, get us out of here. They're doing terrible things. They use us for tests, expose us to the sun. Some of us have even been operated on. If we stay here, we'll die. Or worse. Help us. We haven't done anything to deserve any of this. I was just in the militia. Okay, I demonstrated against the Technomancers, but that's all. Calm down. I'll get you out, all of you, but I can't break the door down. Do you know who has the key? A Technomancer, of course. Their leader here, I think. He's really powerful and heartless. Those bastards. They're preying on the very people who stand a chance of making Aurora a better place. Using them for these atrocious experiments. They need to pay. Yeah, with their credit cards or Bitcoin or whatever. Oh, wait, no. Uh, we're, it's violence. It's going to be violence because we're the resistance. We kill people. You know, that don't, don't believe in what we do. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, why were you arrested? How'd you end up here? It was just after the demonstration. I thought things were okay. I didn't have any trouble when the leaders of militia were arrested. Then one morning, source security showed up at my place. They arrested my wife and me and took us here. She died after they did horrible things to her. So, this is where most of the ones who got arrested ended up. We figured something horrible might have happened to them, but this. Yeah, no Geneva Convention here on, on Aurora and Mars, that's for sure. So, you know, they'll do whatever they want. People will bat an eye, but unless you fight against it, you know, nothing you can do. What kind of experiments did they do to you? What they do to you, exactly. I was lucky, in a way. They only put me out in the sun a few times so far. I thought I was going to die and covered with blisters, but that's nothing compared to what they did to some of the others. They feed us strange things, disgusting water, pieces of flesh that looks human. Some people had mutant parts transplanted onto them. Most of those people died. They also made the women get pregnant by mutants. We never saw them again. Please, get us out of this hell. So they made you eat at, eat at Arby's and then made you work at the Waffle House? Ew! Uh, do you know what, why they're doing this? Any idea what's making them do this? How could I possibly know what those madmen are thinking? They aren't human anymore. You may have heard something. Nothing. Just the screams of my friends. And that's more than I wanted to hear, believe me. Now we'll see what we can do. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right, let's see if we can save these people. Um, okay, so let's upgrade our equipment slightly or change it up a bit. So let's see. So I want to... Really, I just want to change my weapons. I might change my equipment. I got any other steel bar here. I also want to equip with something. But this steel bar, I want to upgrade the crit dam or crit possibility of it because of the feat we got last episode that, uh, uh, that added a few more upgrade options. So we'll do, uh, we'll do razor head and thick leather, mainly for a specific encounter here. And then for the other steel bar, and uh, we'll go ahead and do, you know, we'll do damage reduction on this one with Warhammer. And we have that one thing that gives us fluid regeneration. So let's do the superconductor. And then we'll just switch out to the other in, uh, weapon for this specific encounter. And then let's see. So that should be good. Um, I might, I might switch to or add that one physical resistance weapon to have more uh, air, electrical resistance, just because. Uh, most guys now are going to have electrical batons and uh, the Technomancer there. Like, this encounter is 
Let's see, four war soldiers and a technomancer. So, oh right. Let me go ahead and save it just in case. If you die, it sets you back to the beginning of the area, not after talking to the guy. So I don't want to. If I die, I don't want to have to do that again. So. All right, let's do some damage to him. Oh right. Yeah, I gotta be really careful about. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, nail gun users here. Yeah, if we get it right, we could probably you know, get quite a few people here. All right, let's see if I can stun him. All right. Yeah, stun them. Nope. Oh, ow. All right. I'm out. But since I'm getting fluid regeneration almost one per second, so. Okay, here. Uh-oh. 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 No! Ow! Oh, that's so unfair! I didn't realize it could hit you twice. There we go. Yeah, I didn't realize that he could uh, get me with the uh, the electrical attack twice if if uh, if he builds up. Oh, oh, oh. man! And those guys can be super aggressive. Uh, you either get a guy who's like not aggressive at all, or you get a guy who just just does nothing to you. It's, it's kind of weird sometimes. Yeah, it's blind to you. I didn't mean to attack you yet. Okay, let's see. Should be... Yep, gotta be careful because... Yeah. Alright, I forgot I had a fluid regen. Yeah, I gotta remember it. It regens pretty fast if, if you've got it ma almost maxed out. There we go. All right, got really close to dying, but we did it. And I did use quite a few nail gun ammo, but I've got to use it for some. I've got like 100 nail gun ammo, so, you know. I mainly use it on this build that I'm using. I mainly use it as a distraction, because have you noticed with the Technomancer, if you hit him often enough, he'll uh, it'll break his, his like, concentration. So if, he's, so if he's trying to shoot a lightning bolt at him, if you just shoot a nail gun at him, because usually it's a bit faster than him building up his electrical attack, it'll stun him just enough to like stop him from doing that kind of like what happens to me if they shoot me while i do my abilities the same thing so let's see oh, there's one over there let's grab more stuff more equipment oh. all right and yeah we've got we've got this section here this whole political prisoner place which isn't super long actually um and then we got uh, like a couple of mini missions that just take like a few seconds to finish and then the finale itself so we're actually really close this might either be a short episode or like a, a standard 30 minute or it might be like a super long one that I just split up in half depending on how things go. Look at that. Their drilling worm isn't properly tied up. Yeah, they have drilling worms in this game. When, remember at the beginning of the game when I said this was a discount Dune? Yeah, I wasn't lying. It has a lot of... Um, although I don't remember what the worms were called in Dune, the original story. Uh, or the original plan. It's been forever since I read Dune. Dune is a good book. The first one. The other ones are good to an extent, but they kind of go start going... I don't know if downhill is the word I would use on it. They start getting weird and strange, and you can tell that Herbert was uh, writing about different things by the time he got to the later books. So if you have to read a book, I'd say... Oh, I didn't realize I'd get seen immediately. Okay. Uh, this one has, like, three Aurora soldiers, a Technomancer, and um, a dog. The dog's not the worst thing, but it can be annoying if you're not paying attention. Let's see if we can get rid of you. Yeah, all right. I wonder if I can stun you. Oops. Nope. I'm trying to see if I can stun him. Okay, good. Then we'll deal with this uh, this uh, guy right here if we can. And sometimes the... Um, yeah, hopefully you're not... Okay. Let's try to throw more sand in him. Okay, good. Oh, good. He's close enough to... Uh, Yeah, I can't really use the nail gun on him either. I was about to say, maybe I could have... Oops. Alright. But yeah, the nail gun doesn't really work on the shield guys just because of their shields. Oh, I didn't mean to attack that guy. I was about to say, I meant to hit the... Ah, nuts. I was actually going to hit him with my uh, nail gun, but he... uh let's see if I'm out of his range. Oh, did the did the uh, did the uh, dog knock him out? Okay. 
Because the dog can sometimes actually hurt your their own, your own allies or their own allies just because of their. Okay, seriously, you need to stop that. Yeah, see, you, you, did you see him hurt the uh, hurt the technomancer? If you can do it, it's almost best to save the dog for last, just because his jump attack will hurt allies for some reason. I don't know why, it just does. It's definitely weird, but hey, I'll take it. I'm not really the biggest fan of the Xbox, uh, hitbox on the dogs, just because you think you hit them from behind and you still hit their, um, you still hit their like armor or whatever. All right, nice, noise. That went smooth. All right, I was I was actually expecting to die a couple times, to tell you the truth, just because this area is a bit clumped up. Mainly, it's because there's not enough room to get away from the Technomancer, so unless you roll at the right time, then you either that or try to like get as far away back. Really, the way to do it is supposed to you roll to the side when he starts his, when he gets his attack started, but sometimes it's hard to do that. So, all right, did we get? Yeah, I really wish I had been able to activate get the final natural uh, charismatic leader achievement, but or ability. But I guess because of a uh, old save or a mess up at the very beginning of the game, I don't have enough good points to do that. Otherwise, that would make this final section a lot easier. Because without it, basically my allies are going to basically just fall like fall like a uh, uh, like Legos or something like that, you know? Oh well. I mean, I can still do it. It's just it makes it a lot easier if your ally can uh, to uh, can uh, take more targets from you, so you don't have to mess with it too much. So, all right, we're here at this area. So, now where's these prisoners? There we go. Let's see. We got a tech, uh, Aurora soldier, a dog. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like it's mainly Aurora soldiers. So. No one's over here, right? Nope. Okay. Let's see. Okay, yeah, just the one dog. Oh wait, is there? No, that's no. There's the technomancer. I was like wondering where the technomancer was. Oops. Hey. At least lightning can go through everything, even though it works just as well for them and not not just me. Oh, got Judy over there. All right, let's see what happens. Take you out for a second. Oh, it wounded it. Nice. Oh, ah. Back off. I I, I blinded you, dude. All right. Let's see. Whoops. Sometimes, uh... There we go. Ah. Oh. Back off, dude. For a second. Oh, we're almost at a level. Oh man. Okay, back up, back up. I think Judy. Got, uh, yeah, I probably should heal. Uh -huh. Oh man. Oh, oh, gotcha. At least we rolled out of the way of that. Let's see if I can get a. Yeah, see, I uh, showed you once again what happens if uh, dogs dogs are left uh, left alone. They'll sometimes hurt their allies. So. Yep. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, I think the dog's distracted. Well, sort of. Ah, come on. What the heck, man? All right, fine. There we go. Got him. Oh, we got well, finally got a final. Uh, well, not final level, but that's probably gonna be our last level of the game. To tell you the truth, uh, just because of ha the experience of the final final little bit. Yeah, no points to buying anything. There's nothing I can really buy. At least, yeah. I mean, maybe we could get one more level, but I really, really doubt it. So let's put the final achievement in finally buying o overload. We can now buy that. So. Yeah, we activate it, we get fluid regeneration, plus eight for 20 seconds. Uh, and then the fluid, if I reach max, I'll cause an explosion, which will do uh, 40 electrical damage over a five meter area. I could improve it to max. How's the rest of my abilities going though? So, uh, let's see, that one increased the duration of shield. I haven't really been using shield, even though I should, but, 
but how often am I going to use overload? Because as soon as overload uh, explodes, I believe, if I remember correctly, it lowers your um, it lowers your fluid back to uh, back to zero, I believe. Yeah, sure, why not? Why, let's do it. Let's see. Yeah, there's overload right there, but we still need some over fluid to actually get us started. So. Yeah, I was I was hoping I would. Uh, oh, by the way, by doing that, I get you get the achievement. What are you doing here? You have any idea how important the research you're interfering with is? Research based on the horrible experiments carried out on Aurora citizens. I recognize you now. You were at the source when I was a child. Still so sure you're on the right side, huh? That you're always right? Still so full of yourself over your abilities, I guess. But I'll teach you. I'll show you your place. drilling worm yeah it's boss time against the drilling worm yeah they mentioned a worm and we fight the worm surprise surprise but anyway uh so this is the weapon i want to switch to the critical chance hit just because um it can't be wounded but if you have a nail gun you can at least do little bits of damage as well as um uh fluid uh technomancy skills really are really helpful here so the only way you can actually hurt this guy is to um hit him in his face when his face is exposed. So you want to smack him a few times and then you get a chance of whack. Okay, let me heal. Yeah, the game didn't really give me much of a chance to like heal after that. Oof, yeah, those little feelers there will smack you as well. I'm gonna have to heal again. I won't say this guy's super hard. You have to be kind of careful. Yeah, the reason I chose a, uh, a crit weapon is I wanted to uh, I want to improve my chances to hit him. Ugh, oh, man. Yeah, you really just want to roll in like that. That. Okay, okay, come down, dude. Yeah, okay, see how much damage I'm doing with my uh, shock ability? Oops. Attack, but I'm not yeah, like I said, if, if I've gotten a good chance to heal at the very beginning of this. I don't do as much damage as I would like with my physical attacks. 
And I'm rolling in because I have that ability that uh, improves my crit chance if I roll in the enemies. I think I might have gotten stuck on a... On a oh, no. I, I thought I got stuck on a uh, loop or something. telegraphing his attacks most times. Ah, I got hit by one. Oh, well. I keep open, I'll get the game until I get into a rut where he, uh, you know, keeps trying to hit me with his feelers. Release your face. Release the beast. Release the bogus. I can't remember that. All right, fine. I'll use, use this because it still works. I think. Ah, I got damage from that. Yeah, unfortunately, if he puts down his mask, you can still hurt him. It's just you won't be able to hurt him as much. You know, he's got his basically face shield on. Out of that, I'm actually kind of surprised. Ah, oh, man. Alright. Whoops. Yeah, it's a little game. I could have saved myself from doing get uh, healing so much. Come on. One more hit. It's one more man. Just us now. I just realized Judy doesn't help you during the whole fight. Huh. Yeah, you can't really. He's actually immune to stun. But yeah, just keep blasting him while before he does his attacks. And wait for that shield to go in. Yeah, the, the Technomancer fight is not, not anything impressive after what... Whoa! Okay, never mind. He killed me. Uh, but just because I died does not make the Technomancer fight... Hmm. Okay, we have to fight the Worm again. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to defeat the Worm again and then fight the Technomancer. I forgot that the... Uh, that the... You, 
if you lose the Titan match, you have to do the worm fight again. So let me take care of this guy, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back again after beating the worm. Yeah, this guy isn't that hard. I just I just wasn't paying attention, so. Uh, but yeah, he's just basically like every Technomancer, except he can't be stunned. And then when he's uh, about to cast a spell or anything like that, just uh, smack him with, uh, with like a nail gun or something, just to keep him off your butt for a second, you know what I mean? Kind of roll on in. Yeah, nail gun. Charge, nail gun, charge, maybe a couple smacks. But yeah, this guy is pathetic compared to the, the drilling worm. Yeah, see, I shouldn't have lost the first time, I just wasn't paying attention. So. Then we get the detention key for defeating the Technomancer boss. He didn't even have a name. He was just Technomancer boss. So, yeah, I'm kind of, I, I feel kind of bad like after beating that guy and using all these items not to die, and then all of a sudden I die to freaking the drill, uh, to the Technomancer who's easily, well, not the easiest boss in the game, just an easy boss in general. Yeah, I feel kind of pathetic. Oh, well. I could have edited it to where I did it perfectly, but no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I am playing expert mode, so it's expected to at least fail every once in a while, which I've already done quite a few times in this this game, so I'm just seeing, seeing if there's anything else to grab before we get out of here. Yeah, unfortunately, the Technomancer boss didn't even drop anything unique or anything like that. you think a boss would drop something pretty cool, but nope. That happens quite a bit in this game. Yeah, we should kill him just because of what he's been doing, but nope. We don't want to. Well, I keep trying to hope I'm not gonna. I'm gonna eventually unlock the charismatic leader, but I think I'm too late in the game for for that to occur. But we'll see what happens. Because we got a couple more good choices to happen, but I don't think it'll be enough to get me over the edge. Yeah, I can't believe I only when I looked over my old videos, I didn't. The the choices I made weren't really that bad, so I don't know why I'm not getting the charismatic leader ability. And I've never taken any um, stuff from anyone, so I don't know. Or if it was the same dialogue or not. Do you have the key? Please hurry, some of us need help. Yep, I got it. Here, I finally have the key. Take it and free your comrades. Thank you. Thank you a million times. Wait, you're with the resistance, right? You could say that. There was this guy who was part of it too. He was a prisoner here. His name was Sam, do you know him? No, so I guess he's dead then? He said all kinds of strange things about a deal with Abundance and how they were going to attack Green Hope to help them. What? He spoke to someone called Marco. He said he succeeded. That Abundance agreed to help them. Sounds crazy, right? He must have been raving. Thank you again, in any case. Marco? Working with Abundance? It... I can't believe it. You heard it, just like me. I know Sam. I mean, I knew him. He was a friend of Marco's. That part is true. He left a long time ago. I thought he'd given up the fight. Roy, what does it all mean? Yeah, it means he's a traitor. Uh, well, Hibero is a pretty damn good explanation, especially for, like, shooting the, the other traitor, supposedly, so quickly, even though he was doing it to try and save his family, you know? Marco has some explaining to do. There may be a reason for it all. Yeah, better be a good one. All right, back to the resistance and to, uh, you know, confront Marco about this. And we did save our allies, so there's not like it wasn't like all bad. But anyway, let's head back to the political prisoners. Or sorry, back to base. Eh. I was thinking for a second, I was like, I didn't think any of the Technomancers respawned at this point. At least in the, the people in this area. I think there are a couple of respawns I could if I really wanted to. If I wanted to try and get level 27. Uh, but I'm not really that adamant about doing it. Oh yeah, I never used an overcharge. Although overcharge really would have helped me during the, 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 worm, the drilling worm fight. So actually, I think, I think I'm almost at the end hey, game stuff here. So, you're back. so I could probably... Show me with spend the rest of my cash so I don't need to buy an Aurora's outfit or anything like that so I could buy some more um, let's see how much yeah I've got quite a, I just buy like a, a decent amount of health injectors um, yeah, let's buy some handmade grenades
That might be enough. Let's take a look at my options. Yeah, 16 health injector packs. That should be good. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty decent amount. I mean, I could probably buy more. But I think... I probably should sell the rest of my stuff, but I'm not... I think I'll be good for the rest of the game. I'll, I'll make a double check just to make sure, but... we we're, If we're not at the end, we're really close. What I mean is, uh, I know when it starts, it's just... Sometimes I forget, like, little details about, like, the exact situation where it's like, oh, I better buy stuff from the... I think it's after we encounter Mar uh, uh, um, confront Marco is then when we get to the final chance to go to the... Whoop, trying to run through it so badly. I was like, no, I want to confront Marco about this. I need to confront Marco about this. Like, he seemed like such a good leader, too. But then... Why does... I mean, there's a body. There's one guy still there. So... Right, yep. No one's respawned, luckily enough. Alright. Oh, yeah, that one guy did so. Alright, Marco. You got some splaining to do. So, did you get to the shadow line? Did you free the prisoners? Yeah, I found them and freed them. And I found out some interesting things about the site. After what we've just done, I'm not sure we need more information. We're going to be able to enter Shadow Lair and attack the source. You want to leave soon, right? You wouldn't want us to still be around when Abundance shows up, would you? What? How? One of the prisoners heard about your alliance from some dying guy. A former member of the Resistance who was your liaison with the other guild. How could you do that? Don't you see? It was the only way to weaken and disperse the Technomancers enough so we could hope to defeat them. Abundance is ready to support the government we'll be setting up. And with their help, we'll finally have a chance. At the expense of Greenhope which has already cost Aurora a lot of blood. What does that matter now? Aurora doesn't need green hope. What we really need is freedom. A future. And you really believe Abundance's promises? Don't you think the only thing they're interested in is getting a hold of this site? Maybe. But once we have the source, we'll set up a new government. A government of the people. Then we'll be stronger than ever, and Abundance won't be able to do a thing against us. Roy, you know that without me, the Resistance would be nothing. That I'm ready to give everything for it. Alright, so this is a choice that mainly affects the final battle of the game because you'll get one less resource and the ending credits will change slightly. So if you do No Mercy for Traitors, you kill Marco right there and Judy becomes the leader of the Resistance. If you choose, you're probably right. Um, obviously, things stay the same and Marco will actually help you in the final battle of the game. So, depends on how you want to feel about this. We'll just... Even though he did wrong, we'll give him a chance that he didn't give the other guy, so you're probably right. I think this business is pretty shady, and I'm afraid Aurora will end up regretting it, but you may have a point. Without Abundance's help at the site, we probably won't be able to get rid of the Technomancers. I'm glad you see the stakes in all this. Like you said, we have to leave here soon. They're going to hit us at any minute now, and this is our chance to take the source. We have to leave as soon as possible, but remember, there's no going back. Okay, so this is the chance where you need to go do last-minute shopping and everything like that, so... I have a few things to do here. I need a bit of time before going. All right. Come back and see me when you're ready. But don't take too long. We can't be here when Abundance attacks. I'm listening. Yeah, let's ask him about it. Let's ask him about it. Where'd you get the idea of negotiating with Abundance, especially after the war? I fought a few of their guys during the war. They're hardcore military types, of course. But at least they gave everybody the same chance, wherever they came from. And they didn't bother with all that mystical bullshit that's poisoning us, and lets the Technomancers have so much power. I admired that aspect of their guild. When I understood that a lot of things were being played out at Green Hope for the Technomancers, that they'd sent an enormous number of soldiers there, I understood only Abundance could help us. They could weaken them enough so we could win at the Source. So I sent them an envoy, a traveler later now i'm surprised judy doesn't say anything to marco during that conversation she you think she'd have some dialogue anyway you get eighteen thousand points for completing political prisoners no matter if you kill marco or not but yeah the it's weird that judy doesn't have anything to say like at this point now would it make more sense to make judy the leader maybe but like i said you know obviously killing the guy is I, and the thing is i don't think that's technically a bad decision or anything like that is like evil or whatever but uh you know Yes. Do you have anything to say about this, Judy? I wanted to know. Nope. I All right. 
Just making sure no one had any last minute dialogue choices before we I wanted to Yeah. Thanks. I was uh, oh, did I forget to talk to her about all this after? Huh, okay. I I I I I, I fell. Okay. In the end. One I maybe I should have since Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to say well it doesn't matter at this point. How did you I I fell. In the one I I Listen. Oh, there we go. You right, he's the I just let's get Alright. What do you think? I I don't really he's so sure he's right. I think I already talked to her about all this no. stuff, so Okay. No. And uh I, I just forgot to redo it when I was doing Judy's playthrough. Hey Roy. You need me? Any any other dialogue? I wanted Nope. There's all right. Later. We're good with that. So, okay. So when we talk to Roy, that's it for the, we do the finale stuff. So let me go ahead and go to, I'm going to really quickly go to the shop. I'm just going to buy, probably just buy a bunch of uh, health regens and fluid regens for it. It's not like the final fight is that hard. I mean, probably the drilling worm was probably the most difficult fight in the game. Really. It wasn't even that difficult, but, uh, but I want to just sell off all excess stuff and, and uh, just buy a bunch of like nail gun ammo, health injectors, and all that other stuff, so I'll be prepared for the final bit. So I'll see you all in a second. All right, we're back after taking care of that. Sold all the excess stuff, bought a bunch of health, fluid, uh, regeneration, uh, bombs, everything like that. So let's go to the finale and head to the source. Ready to go? Abundance will be attacking soon. All right, let's go. We can go. I'm ready. He's one of your friends coming with us. Um. Uh, yeah, we could do it by ourselves, but now nah, let's let's stick with Judy. Even though I prefer Mary, but oh well. I'd like Judy to come with us. Ah, Judy, everyone's sweetheart. You're right. Her presence will make everyone braver. 